Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, today we're going to talk about something that uh, we can probably use a little less of in the world. Electronic nannies. Um, you know, these new trucks come with all the bells and whistles. I swore I'd never own a truck that when you walked away, you went whoop, whoop. Um, but now, not only does my truck do that, you know, it does all kinds of other things. Like it beeps when I get too close to other vehicles. And, you know, the one that probably annoys me the most that one you know you're just cruising down the road um, <clears throat> maybe you're you know you're just heading right next door to a buddy's house or um, you're going down to get the mail or you know whatever it may be all of a sudden you need, you don't feel the need to throw on the seatbelt all of a sudden you're hearing beep 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 you know this annoying chime um, so I read about a hack that disables it um, now, of course, you can do this with purchased products, you know, like the Taser um, DT, which you know, I was looking at for a long while there for uh, a couple reasons, but I haven't pulled the trigger on any of that stuff. There's a free hack. We're going to try it. Uh, we're going to see if there's anything to it. So I guess the first thing we should do is verify that the, uh, the charm or the, uh, the chime here works. So I do not have my seatbelt on. I'm going to go ahead and let's cruise a bit and uh, see if we can't get it to chirp at us now I know what you're thinking maybe you're thinking this dude's advocating for driving around without your seatbelt what the hell <clears throat> that's not entirely true I just I want the freedom to be able to do it if I want without an electronic nanny beeping in my ear now my kids are never gonna let me do it period you know, they're going to be sitting right next to me going, Dad, Dad, Dad. Oh, there's my MDS. Got to turn that off. Ah, there it is. I hit 30 miles an hour. And now the idiot light for the seatbelt is blinking. Um, and that fun chime that just won't go away. Now, there are some solutions to that. We could just crank the radio. Um... that works but let's be honest it's annoying it's really annoying and on these new vehicles it's constant just heading around the block here so not only is it beeping at me constantly it's also flashing itself on my instrument cluster as if the beeping and the flashing icon were not enough. It's also hijacking my uh, MPH gauge to show me visually that my belt is not affixed. I really hope that this hack works. I mean, there are things you could do, like for instance, I saw a company that sells just a little piece of metal that you can hook into your uh, <laughs> into your seatbelt holder. That way it tricks your vehicle into thinking the seatbelt's buckled, when in fact it's not. All that's in there is a little hunk of metal. That's clever, you know, I like that idea. Um, some guys would just hook it up and then sit on top of it. Uh, it's just kind of, I don't know. That's just slightly too redneck for me. Um, okay, let's turn it off. So what it tells you to do is buckle your seatbelt. So we're gonna do that. Put car in run without starting it. So it's now in run. After seatbelt light on dash turns off, quickly unbuckle and buckle the seatbelt three times. One, two, three. Leave buckled on last one. Push ignition again, and you should hear a chime. Well, we did, we heard a chime. Start car, unbuckle belt, done. So let's see here. We'll start it, we'll unbuckle, and see if it 
yells at us or not. Well, the light's on. Um, still. Let's go ahead and take a spin and see if it chimes. I have a feeling we're going to be halfway down the road here. It's going to start chiming at us. seatbelt and then sitting on it is a little too redneck for me, but my town's smaller than your town, which makes me a little bit more rednecker than you. In fact, my town's so small it's technically a village. Um, yeah, here's the blinking yellow. chime yet what we're gonna do is we're gonna I don't know if you have to do that every single time you start the vehicle or if it resets when you turn it off we're gonna find that out here in a minute It'd be kind of a bummer if it reset every time and you had to unbuckle your seatbelt three times in a row in order to get it to turn off let's hope that's not the case All right, we're at the meat store. All right, we're back. I couldn't resist. I had to run in and uh, try this jerky, I think. Um, Appalachian style strips, I guess we'll see. Holy cow. People complain about gas prices. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Price per pound. 26 bucks a pound. Hopefully this is some good jerky. Just like a good flashlight, you gotta keep a knife in the truck. A good knife. I don't know what y'all are rocking here, but I'm doing this case folder. That's not bad. You can tell it's real. As in like... You can see that once upon a time this was beef. Um, it's got a good smoke flavor. 
kind of dry. It's got a really good smoke flavor. Um, again, I don't know if it's twenty six ninety nine a pound good, but it's pretty darn good. In case you're curious, this is my meat store. Got a cow on the roof. Good place to come. Good people. Family business. I've been here since 1960. Um, that is actually really good. Family owned, like I said. Um, good hams. Steaks, all hand cut. Good ground beef. Um, we'll also do ground round. Good chicken. Um, you know, so I come here anytime I'm going to cook a steak and want a good steak. Um, <clears throat> standing rib roast, brisket. Um, anytime I'm going to smoke a brisket, I, I buy it from here. Has never let me down. That actually tastes a little bit like brisket, believe it or not. It's got, you know, a little bit of, kind of like a dry brisket. Um, it's thick. All right, you're wondering, did the seat belt chime save? Let's find out. I'm not doing anything other than Starting the truck. Same deal, lights on. I'm not going to put the seatbelt on. Here we go. Now we won't know until we hit about 30 miles an hour. Let's take a long cut. We'll go by this little old place. Some trucks. There's one there. The guy's got some vehicles. Old Studebaker truck. Um, used to be an antique store. Looks like it's going to be a farm place now. That is the thing we do have down here in spades. We've got farms, corn, cows, tractors. So far, so good. I haven't hit 30 yet. locked. No chime yet. There's a kitty. I'd say so far so good, but I haven't really got up to speed yet. Now there's one of the sights that I love about living down here. See that? It's a whole lot of nothing. Um, 
Okay. got up past 30 yet, <clears throat> but I have not heard a chime, which makes me really excited. Um, you know, if that's the fix that we get, <clears throat> that we have to do just one time, so we don't ever hear that chime again, <laughs> it'd be awesome. That is the one thing my town's notorious for, though. If you come to visit the meat store, drive the speed limit. Speed limit through town's 25. You don't want to go above that, because they will nail you. I'm up to 35 miles an hour. I'm at 40, and I do not hear a chime. That is amazing, folks. This is a free hack where you can turn off the seat belt chime so that you're never plagued by that electronic nanny again. <clears throat> and apparently you only have to do it one time. Now I imagine if you ever disconnect your battery, that's a bit of a headache to begin with because uh, you're going to lose your satellite and you're going to lose all your radio settings for a couple hours. But I would imagine you'd probably lose your uh, seat belt work that we've done here too so that's something to think about but this is I wished I'd known about it sooner I wished I'd done it sooner this is pretty awesome um, now I'm on a main road so <clears throat> albeit I'm out in the country I'm gonna elect to put my seatbelt on that's just it I have the freedom to choose without being harassed by an electronic beep. So let's test it. Um, so I put it on. Normally I'd be, like I said, I'd be rolling around the seatbelt. I am a seatbelt wearer. I do wear my seatbelt. I don't want to give you the impression that I don't. I have two, two boys and they're constantly on me. You know, if I don't have it on, you know, they're going to be my chime. But um, I like that freedom just if I'm driving around in the neighborhood or even on my own property and I elect not to put my seatbelt on. I don't want to beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> so, all right, we had it on for a second. Let's take it off. It's telling me driver's seatbelt unbuckled. The icon is on the dash, but I do not hear a chime. Wow. That is cool. That is very cool. Now, my father, who um, I've mentioned him before on the channel, he kind of cracks me up. He is very much opposed to the uh, <clears throat> the law that you have to wear your seatbelt. He thinks it should be a person's choice. And, uh, you know, for a long time, I was just like, it's not that big a deal. Just put the seatbelt on. But I think the older I get, the more he's rubbing off on me. I think that... Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that you should be able to choose whether or not you wear a seatbelt? Do you think that should be a person's choice? If you have an opinion on it, drop it down in the comments. Um, you know, my great, my grandfather, his father, my kid's great grandfather, um, was a police officer. So I don't know if that's a piece of it. My dad just being a little rebellious uh, to the law, but. Um, and of course I'm a teacher so I'm a domestic police officer just kidding um, you know I know the rules are there for our safety um, but it's 
I mean, it's a little bit like the mask thing. I mean, I guess I was a, I, I wore a mask when you know the governor asked us to wear our masks. I wore my mask in school. I wore my mask while I was teaching. Been in person since uh, August nineteenth. Uh, re recently paroled for the summer. Um, so I, <laughs> I get some time off to recharge. Um, so I don't have to wear the mask anymore. Here in Ohio, they dropped the mandate uh, as of yesterday. So you can go into places without a mask if you've had your jabs, which I have. Uh, being a school teacher, I was one of the first people in the state to get the vaccine. I chose to do it. Again, not to make it a political video or anything like that. But, or to start a war in the comments. Uh, but I think it should be your choice. You know. I know people say, it should, you should vaccinate everybody. It shouldn't be their choice. Well, I mean, it is a medical procedure. Um, you should have, ultimately, you know, is it, is it smart to do it? Yes. Does it protect you? And potentially others, yes. But I just don't like being told what to do. I'm American. You know, same with the seatbelt. Is it smart? Yes. Smart. Does it protect yourself? Yes. Does it protect others? Yes. But we live in this society where everything is monitored. And, you know, I don't like the idea that I'm, they're taking my choice away. I want to be the person to say I'm putting on the seatbelt or I'm wearing a mask or I'm being vaccinated. You know, I want that freedom. Now, this could potentially bleed into a lot of other political topics, um, things that get highly politicized, you know, come down to choice. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna mention them, but I'm just gonna put it at that. I will post the instructions in the description. Um, and like I said, if this was at all useful to you, please like, subscribe to the channel, comment. I appreciate you sticking with me. I'm gonna share tips like this when I get them. Um, I'm gonna continue to share the mods I do with the truck. Uh, we're not quite done yet. Um, hmm. that's good. That's a moist one. That's a thick one. Yeah. So the instructions on how to do this is going to be in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe. Till then, till the next video. I'm going to see you guys further down the road.